Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Amelia and I do videos on luxury, lifestyle and beauty. Um, I'll love it if you subscribe to the channel if you are not already done so and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Today is gonna be a tag video. I know I'm not being tagged by anyone necessarily per se but I thought it would be fun to do this tag video uh, it's called the cheapest luxury bag that you have and I think I see a lot of like people doing different renditions of this tag um, and I think it's also the how you define what is exactly luxury is coach luxury is furla luxury because I do have some of those as well um, but I don't think I'm going to include them in this video. Do I have coach? Actually no, I don't even have coach. I have one Furla bag that I bought in New York that I really like. It's somewhere and I can't remember where. But oh yes! Oh no, the other bag I have is a Kate Spade bag. But yeah, it's cute. So if you... I don't think I'm going to uh, touch on those. I feel like... Are they considered luxury? I'm not sure, like higher contemporary brands. Uh, but I decided to, you know, do like the luxury, luxury side of it. Um, and show you some of the cheapest bags that I have. I A lot of people actually just show one bag. Uh, and then some show a lot. But I'm going to show two. How about that? <laughs> just to keep it, you know, right in the middle. So... Yes, I'm going to start with the absolutely cheapest luxury bag that I have. They are both from Dior and they are both vintage. That's why they are relatively cheaper. The very first bag I have is this Dior uh, maroon clutch. It comes in like this uh, oblique print as you can see. And then behind is just uh, oblique print as well. Uh, and it's in this like very very like nice maroony shade. And then at the front is the very old like Dior emblem, like the logo. And it's actually a like a snap closure clutch. So it's like that. Oh my god, what's inside? <laughs> I'm like a zappy white tissue. <laughs> but yeah, obviously I've been using this bag lah. But what is this? Oh my god, why do I have random shit in my bag? It's a restaurant ticket a uh, receipt that has faded till no end <sighs> don't remind me about receipts that are faded okay like every time it comes to like doing business expenses taxes and they're all faded oh my god it's ridiculous but anyway it's like a big hole and it's like a snap club snap closure lah. so i really like taking this out on like you know very very um close by like if I want to go downstairs and I uh, do my nails I just take this and actually it's quite wide at the base so I'm able to fit quite a lot of things inside this I at least can fit my keys my I don't know my do I fit my oh I mean my wallet some of my cards my even my phone my phone I mean I'm charging my phone here so I can show you like I can fit my phone easily inside and it goes right in I swear it's easier than this with both hands <laughs> I don't have both hands But yeah, it just sits inside like that And yeah, I really like it uh, I think this was 250 if I'm not wrong um, And I got it from... was it Carousel? But I'm pretty sure this was shipped from Malaysia actually which is not something that I usually do. Uh. I don't really like. I learned my lesson already. I don't do things like that. So like I always see the item and then buy. It. But yeah, I think this was a very good buy, and I really like this. I was actually searching for the one in navy, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I went for this one, which is maroon, which is quite nice lah. Because I have like a vintage um what do you call it saddle bag in like the navy. Uh, oblique print as well so I thought I'll go for the maroon one which I really like yep and okay the next bag that I'm going to show you which is also um, a vintage bag I believe this was like 300 if I'm not wrong and it's like in the old Dior uh, honeycomb uh, print 
so Dior used to have this like pattern. I thought it was really interesting and then I mean obviously in classic Dior they keep changing their logo. <laughs> So their logo used to look like that as well at some point of time lah. But yeah, this is like a it's like a sling bag. Um so it opens up like that. And then it's just like a big compartment and you have like a chain inside that you can cross body this with. You can cross body it and then or you can just put it on your shoulder and sling it, you know. I think it looks very nice as a clutch or even as like a shoulder bag even. And then you, if you don't want the chain sticking out, you can just hide the chain back inside, which I think is like extremely brilliant. And this smells of my perfume. <laughs> what perfume did I use to do? Why is it so strong? But this is a really nice like little addition to my wardrobe. Although, I mean, I'll be completely honest, I haven't really been carrying this out much. Um, but I I really think that... Oh my god, it smells so nice. I think that it's a nice addition. Lah. And the snap closure is so nice. So I think it's, you know, worth checking out like vintage uh, Dior bags because they have like really interesting designs. Like this one. And this one. <laughs> but yeah, these are my cheapest luxury bags and honestly i mean 200 300 i think even my furla was my furla like even more expensive than this uh and i i even got it in like new york at some like you know those they have like a lot of like department stores right and it was on sale uh if i'm not wrong i paid like 200 plus for it also like, i can't remember but yes i think these are really really nice and they're dior eh? they're dior so worth checking out and that's all from the cheapest bags that I have by the bag tag. If I would love it if you share with me what are your cheapest bags. I mean, if you don't have a YouTube channel. Uh, or if you have a YouTube channel, you can link the bag video down below. And I would love to go and watch it. Um, but till the next video, I'll see you guys.